Oral submucous fibrosis, OSF, is a premalignant condition mainly associated with the practice of chewing betel quid containing arica nut, a habit common among South Asian people. It is characterized by inflammation, increased deposition of submucosal collagen, and formation of fibrotic bands in the oral and paraoral tissues, which increasingly limit mouth opening. The most common initial symptoms and signs are a burning sensation, dry mouth, blanching oral mucosa, and ulceration. The burning sensation usually occurs while chewing spicy food. Blanching of the oral mucosa is caused by impairment of local vascularity because of increasing fibrosis and results in a marble-like appearance. In some cases, blanching may be associated with small vesicles that rupture to form erosions. Patients complain that these vesicles form after they eat spicy food. These features can be observed at all stages of OSF. In the more advanced stage of the disease, the essential feature is a fibrous band restricting mouth opening and causing difficulty in mastication, speech, swallowing, and maintaining oral hygiene. Fibrosis may extend posteriorly to involve the soft palate and uvula. In rare cases of extensive involvement, there may be loss of hearing due to blockage of eustachian tubes and difficulty in swallowing because of esophageal fibrosis. No known treatment for OSF is effective, although some conservative and surgical interventions may result in improvement. Most important aspect of medical treatment is the cessation of habit of eating betel quid, arica nut, other local irritants, spicy and hot food, alcohol, and smoking. The most common mode of medical treatment had been the use of steroids in its various forms. Other methods include injection of placental extract, use of trypsin, collagenase, hyaluronidase and elastase, and intralesional interferon oral zinc as well as oral pentoxifiline and lycopene have been used with varying benefits.